This will cause a huge explosion though, which should be good for the, uh, hopefully it doesn't do too much damage to the structures. If it does, you know, can't really do much. Oh, I do really want to watch that drone footage. Okay, Moab in a couple seconds. This should be good. Woo! Okay, that made a huge dent in their power. We knocked out two of their techies. There is still one alive, but we knocked out a lot of their firepower there. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to more War Room. Uh, it's been a little while since the last episode. Uh, my apologies for that. Lots of stuff happened. I'm sure you understand, you know, December, Christmas, New Year, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, uh, today, or this week, I should say, is catch-up week. I actually just recorded an episode of War Game, which took me a little while to make as well. I'm um, doing some more Partisans today, and as well here. Because I know a lot of you are requesting Partisans episodes, War Game episodes, uh, More Room episodes, and also, obviously, you know, Arma, Men of War, and stuff like that, Company Heroes. So, I'm trying to juggle these, you know, 19 different things to do. So, my apologies if uh, whatever you're looking for isn't uploaded right away. Uh, just because I don't upload something for a couple days or, you know, sometimes about a couple weeks doesn't mean I'm done playing it. Doesn't mean I'm never going to upload it again. Um, comments like, are you done playing Arma? When I haven't uploaded it for like five days are always really funny to me and I always kind of giggle at myself over them. So, in the last episode, uh, we cleared out Fob Armadillo using an AC-130. Um, our job today is going to be relatively boring in between brackets i don't okay they're already got a mission that's good i don't want to mess around any of the northern sectors right now i think what we should do is uh actually take a look i don't know okay that's the wrong i was hoping to select a team oh uh, we can actually just click on this so we have our popularity here is relatively low uh you know some friendly fire or destroying civilian structures might not have helped I really want to get the mine contamination down in this sector. I think we're pretty good in uh, the stronghold in the main fob area. In Armadillo, we just secured it last episode. We're going to have to get the security and our popularity up while also trying to keep... Actually, the mine contamination isn't that high. I do believe I have a... Um, I can't see it right now. I believe I have... Okay, we do have a Hearts and Minds mission going, which is good. So, I guess now I'll take a look at whatever this mission is. We have enemies attacked. Okay, so uh, we need to send a drone. And we need to cancel the order for this team. They're going to have to go back to base and rearm. And uh, we're going to have to take a look and see the drone feed. We're going to have to figure out what to do here. We don't have a lot of units there. I'm really hoping to spread out my units from the main fob between the main fob and the two, like, sort of secondary, well, the mob and the two secondary fobs. As I take a sip of my drink. But it's hard to sort of juggle that because it takes a while for them to transfer, right, between fob left, you know, one fob, the mob, and the other fob. It's, it's going to be hard to sort of balance that. So we really need to sort of have enough units everywhere to counter any attacks or any objectives that may or may not pop up. So I'm thinking, it looks like is it, we're just defending this, correct? Okay. We just need to protect it, it says. But that means that they're not here yet. So we need to hurry up. We basically need to get our forces back to base. So let's get out of this one. We need to get these guys back to base. It's really cool. You can see the river, by the way, that's in that drone feed. You can actually see it in the uh, like on the map. It's really there. These guys need to get back to base. We'll th send this unit out to go over here. Which, by the way, there's no road. A little weird. There's no road leading to it. But we'll speed up. We'll assign all those units that just got back to the FOB. We'll assign them to this mission. And then uh, we basically just have to... Okay, which ones? Okay, this is the IED one. Oh, now it's all happening. All right. Uh, let's see. We need to get... Uh, basically, we'll save a little bit of units over here. So let's send the Striker and the Mat V, which should be two infantry. Okay, this is relatively good. That's a decent amount of units. We still have a little bit of base for any sort of insane things that may or may not pop. Okay, well, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, send a drone, and it looks like we may or may not have to figure out 
how to do this. Well, let's take a look at our fob and then garrison. We might have sent some units over. Uh, let's see, relocate. Um, to Armadillo. We could maybe send a, another vehicle. We're really low on vehicles right now, though. Husky. No, we need to keep some of those here. I uh, see. I don't know. I don't know if this works. Can I send two light infantry via a Black Hawk over there or not? Is it going to fly them there, drop them off, and then fly back? If so, really, really cool. So we are sending a drone to this other mission, which we'll do with it just a second. We still have a lot of. Okay, we have to defend for eight hours. So hopefully we. Uh, uh, okay, we just need to get this unit over there and then figure that out. And in the meantime, we need to send a drone here and take a look at the drone feed. And then if those Blackhawks can transport units between fobs, almost spilled my drink. If they can transfer between fobs and the mob a lot, that would be good. I would actually like that. Okay, let's see if we can uh, need to scan some of the people here. That's a negative. Uh, another red one. Nope. Another red one. Nope. So I'll have to use the helicopters to ferry troops between the fobs and the mob. But the thing is, they won't have enough vehicles to transfer all the infantry. Okay, we found the... Okay, that's good. Hopefully this doesn't cause any issues. We really don't want to mess with that right now. So let's return this. And our Black Hawk is arriving at the base. I'm hoping he just drops off some troops and he flies back. And that should give us... Okay, that's good. So we can actually fly them up and down, which is good. I didn't realize that. That's very good for what I want to do. Because it means we can transfer people relatively simply between FOB and MOB. So if we need infantry transported, that won't be that bad. I don't think... Let's take a look. Let's see if we can relocate. Let's see if we can uh, relocate this husky with the Chinook. I severely doubt it. I don't think... Okay, it cannot be sent with vehicles. So we're not even going to try. It just says we cannot. It would be nice if we could transport like one vehicle to Chinook. Because the Chinook is pretty big. Though I'm not sure if it could carry an MRAP. Because the MRAPs are really tall. Like they're huge. They're super, super tall. I think it's to create as much area between like a potential blast on the road and the uh, underbelly of the vehicle. So we are sending a decent sized unit out to check this out. Uh, popularity here is not super high. Security is also not that high. We're going to have to ho hope that this is enough. If not, we can call in air support. But we don't really have anything else to do. We are, I believe, having some guys on Hearts and Minds in the patrol. So wait, this is the patrol that's going around. And then this is the Hearts and Minds mission. Over here, don't really need to worry too much about either because we have high security, high popularity, low mine contamination. Contamination. So I knew someone who said contamin contamination. That's not how you say it, though. So we got this covered. I guess we could potentially send some of these infantry to just walk over. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do a quick hearts and mind mission in this village. And we could just send a cougar with two infantry to go over there. And we could start at 10 a.m. That's perfect. All right, good. So we're just trying to get as much stuff as possible done here without, you know, taking any huge risks. I suppose we need to take a look at the drone. We are winning slightly. Let's take a look at that. Uh, HP, this infantry is in some trouble. Uh, let's take a look at our drone feed. Let's take another sip. Okay. So it says we're winning slightly. I uh, don't really know where the fight's going on. These are our vehicles. And maybe this is enemy right here? Oh, it's below me over here. Okay, they're just outside of the town. That's not really anything to really worry about. Oh, they are some in elite fighters. Okay. Some support in the form of reinforcements. We cannot fly helicopters over there. That's annoying. Um... Mm, okay. Well, we're just going to let them fight it out. I mean, I can't. I don't really want to try and lose anyone here, but we can't really... I can't really supply vehicles over there. It just won't go that fast. And I'm trying to keep a decent amount of stuff here. But maybe, since we now know that they can fly, we could send over... 
Maybe you could... I oh, know. This is the thing. I don't want to send over many vehicles because I'm trying to save some for my own base defense. In case anything happens here. But this sector is relatively clear, so maybe we can send another striker and two infantry over to the other side. So we'll send them to Armadillo. And then we still have three... Well, we only have two vehicles here then. It doesn't sound like a lot. If anything happens, we're going to have to transport people. But it'll be interesting. Um, Alright, Armadillo. Relocate. Let's go. Okay, they're on the way then. And then this area is... Okay, we're winning decisively. What happened here? Did they go down? Did I lose the other people here? That would be really bad if I did. I hope that's not what happened. I hope that's really not what happened. Okay. Um, that's really not good. Let's take a look at the drone feed. I don't know if we need to call in any support. It, did we lose any friendly infantry? I see my vehicles are still okay. I really hope I didn't lose a lot of my infantry because that was... Uh, Oh, that's going to be bad. All right. Let's go full forward here. As we are running a squad over there. Team. This is not... They're not doing so hot. Okay, maybe we can cancel the drone. And send another one over there. Because we need a new uh, one with more fuel. So we're sending the striker over there. It's just going to take a while. And in the meantime... Um, I, th I think I might have lost uh, all my infantry. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to find out. I guess we could assign them... Let's see. Assign two infantry and just tell them to get the hell over there. We're going to have to walk there, though. It's going to take a little while because they're really slow. But we just need infantry over there. I think we lost two, he two infantry and a heavy infantry over there, which would be really bad. That might have been one of my first losses of this entire campaign. We got the striker over here, though. With some extra infantry, which is good. We got the Humvee. We got Hearts and Might mission going on. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, we lost four. We lost three units. But we did get a bunch of points. 142. So we're going to have to really get a bunch of light vehicles and infantry. And we cannot really spend any money or any special points on uh, service points on these guys. I know that we have the special points for basically everything to upgrade their uh, capacity. But we don't use we don't use a lot of helicopters, and we just need to get a bunch of lights. I don't know if veterans are worth it. So we have 440 on the veteran versus 40, 400. Their armor is higher by 30%. Their max HP is higher. Their endurance and morale are higher. They use an M240B machine gun. And that's the main increase here so we could get four of those and two humvees i think that's a pretty good deal so we'll get a bunch of veteran veteran infantry this way uh, we'll buy those and they should be in our main area now so we could uh i guess send relocate a fighter is pretty good i could i might have to transport some guys from fighter honestly but all right, let's get some veteran heavy light and let's see Humvee, Humvee, and another veteran light. I said veteran heavy light. <laughs> That's not what I meant to say. We're going to relocate those to Armadillo as well. And uh, hopefully this battle here is not going to bad. Doesn't look like they're actually fighting right now. That Oh, crap. That's not good. They are winning slightly. We need to get a drone over here ASAP. Drone, 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 drone. Uh, drone, drone feed. I, I can't, I'm not gonna, you can't believe this. I, I send out a small reinforcement and immediately they're on the ball trying to ambush my boys, which is bad because I guess didn't send a mine clearing vehicle with them, which is kind of my own fault, but I just got these guys. I can't risk, you know, losing a hundred points worth of the reinforcements I just got, you know, two Humvees and two light veteran and light infantry. Right off the bat, that would be really, really bad. So we're going to have to call all the air support we can to rescue them, if anything. If they're still alive. Okay, they are. Uh, combat. No, support. We're going to have to call a, uh, a MOAB, I think. Alright. 
Moab called in. This is probably the craziest thing I've called in so far. Do we have... Okay, we're still alive. We're going to have to hope that they get to the other side without too much trouble. This will cause a huge explosion, though, which should be good for the... Uh, hopefully, it doesn't do too much damage to the structures. If it does, you know, can't really do much. Oh, I do really want to watch that drone footage. Okay, Moab in a couple seconds. This should be good. Woo! Okay. That made a huge dent in their power. We knocked out two of their techies. There is still one alive, but we knocked out a lot of their firepower there. Our infantry has been hurt pretty badly, though. But that is perfect. That is honestly really what we needed to happen there. We really needed some... Um, some quick support. We could A-10 run this thing and hope that it does the damage we needed to do. Our, uh, all these stuff, we might have to retreat them back to base after this ambush is over and um, have them heal up before we send them over again. Or I could risk it, have them continue to path, and I'm assuming they'll still get fully healed. No, you're supposed to stay in the line. Don't move. I'm hoping that maybe this way we'll still be able to get them to base. Now, this is the decision. Do I have them keep going or do I pull them back? Um, damn it. All right, well, I guess we'll let them keep going. If anything happens to these guys, they're... Let's return them. We have a huge amount of people here, actually. Let's cancel this order. Okay, these guys really need to get back. We cannot risk losing them in another ambush, so we have to get them back. Okay, it's really annoying, but, you know, you can't really do much about that. Just the way to go. The way of the go? I was going to say the way of the road, but somehow that didn't really come out. But yeah, it sucks that we lost. We got the security up, which is good. So the security up in here is now at full, basically, and mine contamination. Mine contamination is really low. We are... Security looks like it's going up a little bit here. Contamination still really high. I thought we had a patrol over here, but maybe... Okay, let's send another patrol out, I guess. Um, Max Pro. This one. This one. And two light infantry. And they can just go on... I guess they can go on Route 2. Or Route 3. Route 3, why not? Sure. Assign. Uh, do it 4 p.m. Okay, go ahead. And then they do have a lot of people here. We could potentially send some of their light infantry. Uh, meh. Maybe we'll keep it right. What is in this town? Okay, nothing really crazy. Do they still have supplies? Adjust new supply convoy, please. Nope. Do it, do it from here. Adjust new supply convoy. Helicopter. Easy peasy. Send a FOP fighter one time, 2 p.m. And new supply convoy. Chinook to armadillo i might as well i mean i don't know why I, I like doing this part this is really fun to me like the whole assigning helicopters and having them fly out and do stuff like that looks like this is going well for us they are you know lost a lot of people there security and armadillo went up that's really good so we did get the security up by a lot but yeah we lost three units that's really really bad we did get a ton of them which is good, but the fact that we lost that much of our units, and especially some of the... I think we lost them, one, like one or two veterans, is really, really bad. So, they're coming back to base, which is good. Helicopter should become, uh, should have gone out, actually, already. They, they already went out and delivered the supplies. So, with the hearts and minds of the patrol, we could send a patrol out over here. Now, I think about it. We could send a MRAP Buffalo, Striker... And two of these. And I guess we'll send a second striker. No, maybe we'll send a Matt V. He has a lot of health. That's good. Alright, and we'll do that 4 p.m. And we'll do that on... Oh, okay. Maybe not. Maybe we don't do that. Because um, maybe we won't do that. Purely based on the fact that we can't see the patrol routes fully. And I don't want them to get in trouble. Ambush happened. Okay, send a drone. That's really bad. I don't know. They have a lot of people there. Need to get the hell over there with our drone. Okay, drone feed. Almost click return. That would have been really annoying if I clicked re uh, drone or return there. Although if you re-click on the unit and send a drone back, it should actually re-return. That doesn't make any sense when I say it like that. But That's a lot of boys. 
Okay, and this is my friendlies down here. It might be time for an Apache. That's going to take a very long time. That's going to take a very, very long time. F-16, we'll call in some uh, quick support. And then the Apache can hopefully come up up. As uh, we do not have many units out here. Uh, I thought that was a wrecked vehicle. Uh, this light infantry unit is already in a lot of trouble. Uh, this is one of the demining vehicles. Okay, we really need to basically retreat these guys, I think. So we're going to call in the air support. And if that doesn't change much, we're going to have to just retreat these guys because we cannot afford to take a lot of casualties here just based purely on the fact that we already lost like three KIA just earlier. So, oh, there's our other vehicle. Okay, it's a, it's a Humvee with a 50 on top. Okay. Here comes the F-16, hoping it knocks some people out. Let's use thermal so we can see it better. Perfect hit. Knocked out some of their techies, it looks like. The Apache at this point isn't super useful anymore. I mean, I called it in anyway. We still have one on Colin, two Blackhawks on Colin. And then the Apache's coming in just about a minute. It's like flying over there ASAP, I'm sure. Um, one, two, five. There's about five enemies left, four enemies left. They've knocked out another one. The A-10's going to knock out the truck, and that should put us into a definite win about now. Okay, perfect. We're going to have to send these guys back to base, though. Uh, cancel order, because they are in so much pain. That's not good. And I mean, they're just low health. You can't risk that. All right, let's relocate now, though. What's the situation here? They got nine... They got seven, but they got a patrol out. I mean, they got a hearts and mind mission out. We can definitely relocate some boyos. So maybe we'll try that again. Maybe we'll do that with a Chinook this time. We'll just send a bunch of, uh, let's see, light. Is this light infantry? It's heavy infantry. Another light one. And another light one. And I guess we can send them to Armadillo that way. Let's go. Okay, we're on the helicopter. Um, that's good. This is actually good. We're just going to get them deployed over there. Uh, shame we can't move vehicles that way because it would be nice to move some vehicles faster. But as far as I'm aware, it doesn't look like that's necessarily a possibility. Uh, we successfully did the ambush. Fighter security is almost all the way up. So the ambush sucks that we had to cancel our patrol, which could have put the mine contamination down when you find uh, mines. It just puts that down. Or maybe just when you run a, an EOD vehicle over near the area. But we did manage to at least clear that area security is up and we can kind of just go full steam ahead i think we might want to get another round of shop money before we really worry about expanding to another sector purely based on the fact that right now it feels like i'm juggling units a lot though i, I mean there's a lot of vehicles there's a lot of infantry here there's not a lot of vehicles which is kind of annoying but i can't move the vehicles over because they're going to get ambushed a lot easier it looks like. Uh, medevac helicopters, planes, we have a lot of them. We just need to get some more through the system. But I'm also trying to spend money on, you know, getting the units that we need. Because we just need more units, especially when we lose three. That's really bad and really brutal point-wise. So that uh, Hearts of Might mission just got completed, it looks like. It is almost 5 p.m. Uh, this one is going to be done here soon. And uh, that should give us some more success rating to hopefully up the popularity or the security here in the area so i guess while nothing's really happening i believe that they talked about some um oh there goes the last guys okay let's send them back to base and just kind of let the clock go forward here they are talking about some uh, future things that may or may or may not happen they're on the roadmap for war room and one of them was direct control of units on the ground so i'm assuming you're flying your uav and then you can tap certain units and actually direct control them like men of war style, I suppose, to a degree, to tell them what to engage, what to do, how to do it. Um, they're going to introduce like a whole new set of units. They have JTACs, medics. There's a bunch more like, sniper teams. Um, if I can remember to do it, I'll link the article below this video so you can read it for yourself. Uh, they had a whole roadmap for basically 2021, which is very interesting because I'm hoping they really get to do uh, what they wanted to do. Interestingly enough, they are having an objective done here in our uh, in our actual like safest area, which is very funny. So we can just assign a bunch of boys. So we'll send, still don't know. Okay, we'll send a Buffalo Striker, two Humvees, that's four. And uh, maybe we'll send a Tow Launcher. Don't think that carries anyone, does it? Okay, it does. So we can send five infantry over here. So let's send some Veteran Heavy, 
veteran light, veteran light, regular light, and regular light. So that should be five infantry. Start the attack in between brackets. I'm not sure that's really worth an attack. All right, so we're sending out those units. It is going to be nighttime. It's a little annoying. Don't really have to worry too much, I think, about this formation. I mean, we sent so many units over here now. Feeling pretty confident about that. And if I need more units, I can always send helicopters over, right, to fly them back in from the fobs back to the mob and vice versa. I wish there was a way to transport uh, some vehicles, though. That'd be cool. We can just load up a bunch of boyos in a truck or in a helicopter and uh, get them flown over. All right, they're going to work over this town. There's nothing super crazy. I see some heavy insurgents. That's it. Don't have to worry about that too much. I did see a rocket come out there. Uh, we can just go ahead and skip time a little bit. Oh, that was very fast. Okay, that was really it. Okay. Uh, sure. Did anything happen? Like, did anything crazy happen there? Big. Okay, we got. Wow. Okay. Well, that's very good. Uh, we just got our popularity and our security up to max. Mine contamination. Contamination is really low. We do need to. Uh, I guess send another supply convoy. Might as well uh, adjust some supplies. We can just dissolve these. Okay, it's going to fly every day. I don't think that's necessarily necessary. We can just fly one like right now just for the hell of it, honestly. It's because it's fun. I don't think I don't think they can get shot down. I don't think so anyway. I'd hope not. Okay, well, that's going to fly in just a second. Well, I say a second. It's going to fly at about 11. I just like keeping the supplies up at the max. I feel like uh, there's no reason not to. Village attack. Oh, that's very far away. Okay. Send a drone and a sign. So first of all, we'll send one, two, three, four, five, six. This is one, two, three, four, five. So we can send five infantry with them. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Send a drone over there. By the time they get there, we'll be fine. And then... I think the helicopter should be flying over in just a second to supply it again. I think the supplies... I don't know sure what happens if the supplies get down to zero. Maybe, you know, the fob gets attacked or... I don't really know, actually. There goes the supplies to that one. We can dissolve both of these. Do a new supply convoy. Boom. We can do that at 11 or at midnight. Sure, why not? Assign. Boom. Done. So that's going to fly over there. And then our guys are almost there. Hopefully they don't get ambushed. They don't. That would be preferable, so we can just have them uh, full health. Oh, that was very fast. Okay. Very good, actually. We got 216 points. That's perfect. So we'll spend the points in just a second. I really want to make sure that this happens. Okay, it does. So we can send him over there and dissolve that supply convoy. And then this one is almost there. Uh, we could spend some time in the shop. We have a lot of points. We could potentially get another set of units i don't know if i really want to get any helicopters a patch would be nice but it's just it feels like it's too slow right it just feels like it's not all at the same time i mean if we get it every time it would be very helpful let's get one apache upgraded why not and then let's get a bunch of light infantry one two three four uh no let's get three and back that up with two strikers because strikers are awesome and they carry uh, two infantry and not just one. I mean, Mad V's are not purchasable. This one only carries one, I think. Can I sit it anywhere? I don't know if I can see that somewhere, but the I, I do like the striker just because it can carry two people, and to me it makes a lot of sense to get some of those. So in the meantime, what we'll do now, uh, we'll wait till it's not during the night, because I'm a little afraid of ambushes at nighttime. When it's morning, we'll send a striker, or maybe send two strikers with infantry to this base. And then we might actually redeploy some of the infantry via helicopter. So, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do a sort of combination there. Wooding decisive, 1,000 manpower. Okay, we don't have to really worry about anything there. They're going to be done for. Fling. Oh, wow. Huh. Wow, that was very fast. Okay. Okay, well, let's do that, actually. Let's do a quick little relocation. Let's see if we can... I don't know if this works this way. Can we relocate them via helicopter? It would be nice. I don't know if that works. Can we relocate them via helicopter? If Is there a way for us to send a helicopter over there? Just send it? I don't think so. I don't think... Okay, so maybe we can only send... Uh, this is a good question, if anyone's watching at this point. 
Is there a way for me to get get infantry from this base back here using a helicopter? Because I don't know if that's possible. It would be nice, though. would be really nice, because I really want to relocate some of these guys back. Or I need to go armadillo. Oh, armadillo to stronghold. And I don't know if that works or not. Like, if I... Okay, what if I do it like this? Veteran heavy. Um... Does this work? Can I send them to fighter? That would be cool. Okay, let's see if this works. So we've somehow found a Chinook. The idea, hopefully, is that he goes and picks them up at Armadillo and flies them to... No. 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 What is he doing? No, you idiot. Oh, was that what I meant to do? I don't even remember. Maybe it is what I meant to do. Anyway, I flew some extra guys here now. Okay, well, that might not have been the total idea I had, but, you know, whatever. Wait, they got ambushed? What was that? What what ambushed them? Oh, that's not good. Send a drone. And assign troops. And, oh, Armadillo has nothing in base right now? Oh, <laughs> I don't know uh, what... Oh, did they just ambush outside of my base? That seems like a very bad idea. Okay. Well, this is going to be funny. Drone. Drone feed. I'm not sure what Team Quebec was. There's a lot of people. Hopefully I didn't mess it up or that looked like a lot of stuff happening. Tech... That's... This is all enemies? Oh, no. Apache... Oh, here's an entire convoy coming out of the, the building, though. Okay, they definitely need air support ASAP, so let's call that in. And I don't, know, I don't know where this Team Quebec is going. It said... I'm trying to zoom in more. I can't... I can't click on that. This is the other dudes. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, okay. Well, that was fast. I don't know. Did they just, like run out of the fob on their own? That's what it looked like. I'm really not sure what happened there. That was a little weird. I think for now, we have done a bunch of stuff. Uh, we got some more Apaches up. Let's take a look and make sure all of our units are in their bases, though, before we do anything. Okay. So, let's take a quick pause. Here, we got 16 units. Lots of infantry, a couple strikers, a couple other vehicles. And over here, we do have six, but there's a huge team coming, which is all the, the guys who sent north. That's so another, like, what? Eight to nine, like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that means 16, 16, and this is at 26. But I think some of those. Okay, they're all this. Okay, so we can probably send some of these out. We'll have to figure that out in the next episode because we're going to call it here. I hope you guys had fun watching some more War Room. It's always interesting to get back into this game. And I have this feeling that maybe after we um, take a couple minutes in the next episode, we could potentially discover some more areas to our north and uh, start working on some of the, uh, the sectors here to the north. With the means, I hope you guys enjoyed. Love to see you in the next one. Cheers.